Imagine a Fairfield County where the beauty of our land is preserved, where birds and insects flourish and natural species thrive, where people have more preserved lands to enjoy, drinking water is pure, and flooding is diminished. Here at Aspartuck Land Trust, we are making this happen and encouraging others to support our Green Corridor mission. Part one of the Green Corridor is protecting land. We are preserving strategically located land parcels in our six town region by either purchasing them or receiving them as donations. So far this includes 42 parcels and over 800 acres of land. Among those are Gilberti's Farm and the Fromson Strassler property in Weston, where we are creating a 705 acre forest block on the Weston Wilton border. Part two of the Green Corridor is land stewardship, encouraging homeowners to keep their backyards sustainable. We are controlling the plants that are on our land. And right now we, we vastly favor giant lawns. We've got 40 million acres of lawn in this country. That's the size of New England. Uh, and, and particularly the way we treat our lawns, that's, it's a deadscape. Our lawns don't provide food webs that support all the other things that we, we need. So what we wanna do is re-landscape our yards. I suggest we cut the area of lawn in half, put in the plants that support the food webs and the pollinators, and create uh, what we, we call biological carters that connect the actual habitats so that the plants and animals in those habitats not only can move back and forth between habitats, uh, but they can actually live outside those habitats. If you do three simple things in your own backyard, you'll make an enormous difference. Number one, plant native plants. This is the single greatest thing people can do. Fewer native plants feed fewer insects and fewer birds. A, a chickadee, common bird we want breeding in our yard, requires 6,000 to 9,000 caterpillars to make one clutch of chickadees, depending on the number of birds in the nest. And that's just to get them to the point where they leave the nest. The very best plant in making caterpillars in 84% of the counties of the U.S. are oaks. In the mid-Atlantic states, and that includes Connecticut, they support 557 species of caterpillars. That's 557 species of bird food. And we can compare that to ginkgo, biloba from Asia, very, very common street tree, common ornamental. They support zero. So you can put a ginkgo in your yard and it can have an ornamental effect, but think of it like a statue. It's there just being pretty, but it's not performing the ecological roles that we need. Number two, make your lawn sustainable by reducing it, going organic, or planting native brown covers. Number three, avoid pesticides. Pesticides contaminate soil and water in addition to killing plants and animals. You know, the Green Corridor Initiative from the Espetuck Land Trust uh, is organizing an effort to create the biological carters that, that we talked about. Of course, the carter will be much more effective if everybody joins up. If you have holes in it, that's you know, that's an obstruction. And it, you know, it's not hard. Put that oak tree in your yard and, and instead of the ginkgo, and all of a sudden you've got connectivity with, with migrating birds and countless other species. We are in a critical moment in time to save our species and protect our natural lands. Insect populations have declined by 40% since the 1970s, and we've lost three billion birds since that time. And as population growth swells in America's suburbs, so does harmful development. Creating a greener planet starts with greener suburbs and greener backyards.